do the combination with the long staff. So from our movement, have the left knuckles up, right knuckles down, and we're facing in that direction, so you can follow me exactly. Same as for our moving basic. We're going to pull the long staff with the left knuckles up to our left shoulder. We're going to slide forward into a 45 shikadak. We're going to clear. Now from this position, imagine hitting my opponent in the face. I say imagine because I don't think this was actually a strike, which we'll explore later on when someone is grabbing the long staff. This is to release the grip from someone that's going and grabbing the staff and trying to prevent us from using it to its maximum advantage, which is a little bit longer range. So we don't want our opponent on top of us. We don't want to be crowded. We want the space to hit, but we need to practice for how to create that space when we are being crowded. So, left knuckles up, right knuckles down, bring to your left side. Your opponent has grabbed the weapon, you're moving in, you are clearing the arms, the grip is here. You are bringing the arms over, so you're bringing the left side over your opponent and then hitting. Let's just look at that part first. So from here, one, two, three. Trying to break out of the grip. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Now what we're going to do, swap. Right knuckles up, left knuckles down. Bring to your right shoulder. Move forward. One, two, three. Do it again from the right side. One, two, three. And again, remember right hand goes to right shoulder. And then we move forward. One, two, three. Right. So that's the basic one. If you need to pause the video, go through it step by step. And now we're going to add the swap after every combination. So from your left knuckles up, right knuckles down, right, slide, uh, right leg slides forward. One, two, three, swap. Going to a 45 shiko, then turn into long stance and hit. Swap, shiko, long stance, hit. Swap, shiko, long stance, hit. Swap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. 10. Right. Now, in our self-defense section, we're going to look at what that movement means and how to apply it. 